Okay guys, the deed has been done and it's time to introduce you officially to Project Grandma, maybe? Anyways guys, take a look. So it is Tuesday morning, we are back here at the lot. We're gonna give you a little bit of a lot update. I wanna show you a few things, but first I also wanna tell you about the project car, which we still don't have a name for yet. So I have some exhaust parts on order so that we can get some dual exhaust set up on this car. Now, one of the problems that I've found is that the driver's side tailpipe without the resonator is a hard product to come by because apparently these Panther platforms, everybody wants them maybe, and they're selling out. No, that's not why. It's because people aren't, average people aren't souping up their Crown Vicks and their Grand Marquis. But this guy is, and that is one of the mods that we are going to be doing to this car. The other one is on Thursday, we have an appointment down at our local Speedy Auto Glass to get the windows tinted. Now we are doing all four side windows as well as the rear window. Uh, I don't know how, how dark I'm gonna go yet, but probably gonna be something like a little bit lighter on the driver's windows versus the very back. I'm not sure I'll go limo tint, but we'll probably go a little bit darker anyways. I've got a line on some wheels on the Facebook marketplace to uh, in a place that's about two and a half hours away in Moncton. And uh, they are 2011 Mustang wheels. They're 18 inch and I will have to buy some new tires. Now granted this car came with four like new winter tires on steelies as well as these now granted those 16 inch wheels and tires look good on the car they look original obviously because they are but the tires are just cheapy tires they're like black lion something made in europe somewhere maybe made in china i don't know but anyways uh it doesn't really affect how the car handles or, or anything like that so we've got those we're trying to figure something out with that and the last thing is the exhaust manifold. We are trying to get something fixed up with that this week. Uh, I just need to nail Tim down on some spare time and at least have him take a look at it. It might not be the manifold at all. It could be something simpler. But nevertheless, I am prepared to put a manifold on it if I have to. So let's take a walk around the lot. And there's something that I wanted to show you that was an absolute close call. And this is something that when you don't pay attention, you might get yourself in trouble. So yesterday, I was bringing around one of the Kia Sorentos to park it on the lot. I was in a hurry to get out of work because I had some place I had to be. And the vehicle didn't necessarily have backup sensors or backup camera, it did have sensors. And so I said, well, I'm good. So I backed it into its place, thinking I would use the uh, the dirty tire marks, but I was off by quite a bit. So I just kind of stuck it in there anyways, but uh, I wasn't paying attention to the passenger side at all. And as you can see, almost, almost. Almost hit the Kia Forte. So that is how quick things can happen when you're in a hurry and you're moving things around and you're just simply not paying attention. I admit, I made a mistake. I almost hit this car. It could have cost us some serious cash, but fortunately enough for me, I didn't. And uh, now I, I don't even know what I was thinking because it's not even parked right. Not only is it almost parked into the side of this Kia Forte, but 
<laughs> it's uh, it, it's just not where it's supposed to be. So as you can see by this little V or U shape here, that's where the front tire is supposed to be there. And you come over here to where this vehicle was supposed to be parked, and there's another one there, and of course it's all the same thing the whole way down. So we're going to get this thing parked back in the place it's supposed to be and uh, try not to hit anything again this time. What was I thinking? Holy freak. Now one thing that we try and do when we're parking our cars is we're trying to keep all the front edges of the bumper right in a straight line. And the reason for that is, is because when you're coming down that highway, you're going to notice if a car, if the car is just parked all wonky. So we try and make them look presentable. So we do the same thing with this front row as we do with this one, with this row and with this row. And as we come out back here, guys, we've got a couple of things that uh, we wanted to share with you. So obviously you know what's going on with the uh, 2010 Ford Fusion. It is just basically going to the scrapyard because the motor is gone. I'll be salvaging the seats out of it for the old Mopar. The Chevy Aveo 5 is a car that we took on trade for the 2009 Kia Rio, the blue one that we had last week. I mean, it came in and out very quickly. Most of those cheap cars do. The Honda Fit is something that we took on trade on that Nissan Versa Note that I went to get uh, in the city that we ordered from away. And yes, I said Nissan. I noticed that in some, some of the comments you guys have been making fun of the way I've been saying that, I guess. Maybe it's different from you. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section below how it's supposed to be said. Sorry. The uh, little Chevy, or Chevy, my goodness. The little Dodge Caliber here is a customer car. He seems to be having uh, some transmission issues with the CVT. Now he did put one in it last year, but there's something going on that puts the car into limp home mode. Now granted, I did not sell this car, uh, but we did sell him a different vehicle and he's been bringing both of his vehicles to us ever since uh, for service work. Project Bubbles is still sitting back here all pretty like again, unknowing what's coming. And that video will be shooting either this weekend or early next week. So uh, again, if you don't know, what Project Bubbles is or what's going to happen. I'm gonna put a link right here so you guys can go back after this video and see exactly what's going to take place with Project Bubbles. So we've got everything lined up. We've got all of our materials bought. The problem that we're having right now, well, it's not really a problem, but the shop truck is down and out. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that uh, we had the differential gears the rear differential out and things were quite milky uh, in there the bearings were shot it was noisy we knew that when we bought the truck and we're just getting around to fixing it now this truck has an oddball of a setup in it as far as gears it's got the big 10 something 10 inch rear end uh, which is odd for a half ton you usually you don't get that uh, so all everything is bigger the axles are bigger the seals are bigger the pinion seals all that stuff is bigger and when you go and order this stuff from the parts store, you're not getting the right thing. And it's just basically the way that the label, we didn't realize it was a 10 inch. We were ordering for like a nine. So anyways, the parts are on order directly from Ford. Uh, we should have those early or uh, later this week. And by Friday, we're hoping that we can get this truck put back together so that we can hook the trailer up to it, get bubbles loaded on the trailer and get it out to the site where we're going to do the big bubbles thing. So that's the story on that. And you may be noticing the uh, Tahoe here sitting in the background. Well, this is a truck that we're taking on trade. And as you've seen me do before, I have put that truck on one of my dealer auctions for, for appraisals. And uh, so we did that. We got a pretty good dollar value out of it. And I encouraged the customer that now is the time to take that money because it was more money than we felt the vehicle was worth. Now, it does have a few damaged items like the front bumper is cracked and it's got some panels, uh, some moldings that are missing and different things like that. So we opted to take it now and uh, 
get that sold and he's going to be coming back that's his basically his down payment for a crew cab truck that he's looking for so we are on the hunt right now for him for a crew cab truck so guys that's going to do it for this little uh, video and uh, giving you kind of an update on the lot as well as some of the mistakes and things that happen that can happen uh, when you're not paying attention so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do like it please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so yet please consider hitting that subscribe button I am literally this close to monetizing this channel what does monetizing means it means being able to make money on YouTube and part of the process of that is you need 1,000 subscribers I'm over that the other part is you need 4,000 watch hours in a consecutive 365 day year I'm right now at uh, 3818 so we're less than 200 watch hours away from reaching that 4,000 watch hour goal so once I get there I can apply to start making money on YouTube it's not big money mind you um, you're right now as things look I might be looking at possibly somewhere in the vicinity of five or six hundred dollars a year uh, until until my channel grows and gets to a point where it starts making a significant or uh, an actual amount that you can actually do something with nevertheless that money will go back into the channel so that we can provide you guys some great content with things like my old Mopar with this project which again is yet unnamed leave those comments in the comment section below and uh, we'll try and make this channel a little more uh, uh, exciting by times and do some really fun stuff uh, at your guys' suggestions. So guys, this video is also being sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. They are a continual sponsor of this channel and of this beard uh, with products that I can keep myself groomed up and looking dapper. So they are offering you guys a special promotion if you're bearded and you use Sussex Beard Oil and you buy a regular size of Sussex Beard Oil, you can get a travel size absolutely free. All you have to do is enter in this promo code, GloveBox. Add both items to your cart on checkout with the promo code. You'll get it absolutely free and free shipping over $50. So guys, take advantage of that because they're supporting me. I would hope that you guys could go support them. Also still looking for license plates. I've gotten some messages from some guys recently that are sending me some and we're going to get back on that wall art project and hopefully finish that up in the very, very near future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Sit up.